your body feel the rhythm groove Feet moving, your body turn into a wave Let it go What's going on everyone? Rob Lipset here and you are watching the best channel on YouTube right now, okay? Scott Murray, let's go. Transition time. Boom. And I am not playing with this one, but let's just appreciate firstly what a beautiful day it is in sunny Ireland. A little bit windy, but the sun is out and here we go. We are at KFC, but we are going for Mackey D's in Carrick Mines. And seriously, the goal with this one is just to have a large variety of foods, all of the foods that I want jam-packed video under 20 minutes preferably so let's go in to Mackey D's and see what we get and boom here we go oh my god guys actually it is fucking roasting in here I'm gonna start dripping in sweat but anyway can you guess what we picked up we've actually gone for something a little bit different today first of all we went for a little bit of a cheeseburger thought I would start off today savory not really sort of craving anything sweet yet so yeah cheeseburger and then of course you know me, I love my nuggets, so we went for a little six pack of nuggets, 260 calories, hella protein, <laughs> and this, the Piaz de Resist Twisty Fries, <laughs> uh, haven't had them for a while, thought I would get these instead of the medium fries, so yeah, I think I'm gonna start off with some chicken nuggets, so let's bang this out the way, like, ch -ch -ch <laughs> cheers to a good day of eating, a lot of you have requested the OG cheat day, so here we go, mm. Oh man, it's been a while. <laughs> They're actually very good. Mm. Of course we bought our bu oh, Jesus. <laughs> we bought our bujel. Ah. God, I'm definitely gonna go through a load of this. Here we go, let's get a taste of the twisty fries. Look. <laughs> yeah, actually they're pretty good. I haven't had those for a while. They're definitely higher calorie, I think. <laughs> Look at this, they put some like regular fries in the actual packet. That's cheating guys. That's not allowed <laughs> Now let's get a bite of the burger again just a little bit of cheese and some ketchup <laughs> Actually definitely prefer this over the Big Mac probably my top one this or the double cheeseburger mm. Mm. And We're all about hypertrophy on this channel. So here we go super set nugget Mm. With the cheeseburger, mm. last bit of bread, and the nugget. Mm. Man, look, oh, God, I'm starting to sweat here, guys. Here we go, cheeseburger, finito. Dive into these again. Mm. Mm. Oh shit! Actually, um, before I forget, the weigh-in. I haven't done this for a while. I nearly forgot. Weighed in at seventy. 5.4, which is a little bit down, 7.8% body fat. Uh, sort of prep for this one a little bit differently. Seeing as I haven't done this for a while, I've literally been in like a 300 calorie deficit for like nearly two weeks, which is pretty easy to be honest. Then a physique update and uh, the full workout for that uh, workout we did this morning will be on the screen. We went full on banana mode again, experimenting with this new split. It is insane, guys. You're gonna like it. But anyway, here we go. Let's finish these. Last nugget last bit of fries mm. <sighs> beautiful perfect start to the day so again macros will be up there in the left hand corner yeah so yeah again I've sort of planned this out I've got some good shit coming so stay tuned I hope you all like this video and yeah I'll check in with you at the next meal Okay fam, so we're home, got a little bit of the video edited, caught up on a few emails, and I think we need to keep the ball moving. And again, I'm not really craving anything sweet, so I think we're gonna keep on the old savory theme. So, you know what? <clears throat> oh God, what a workout. Jesus, that new program Scott gave me is just insane. If only I could find that in the link in the description. <laughs> what the hell? Hello? Scotty, my main man, how's it going? Hopefully you're making all kinds of gains 
on that new program. But can you do me a favor and stop off a little on the way home for me? Yeah, sure, I can do that. I mean, I don't have any maids, so I got nothing else better to do. And look, I'm sure with time you'll find some friends, but seriously, be careful. I've heard the guards are actually out on the road, so put down the phone and just check back in with me later on. Don't worry, I always drive responsibly. God, you should know that. So we are here. Tell me exactly what you need. Well, I was thinking pizza, but I've had Domino's so many times, so I was actually gonna go for like a mix and match, maybe like two smaller pizzas. Yeah, it's a good call, actually. Domino's definitely gets a bit boring after a while. Yeah, and it's definitely pricey as well. I mean, ain't nobody got time for paying 20 euro on a pizza, so let me know what little have. Okay, so here we go. They do have all the Chicago Town and the Goodfellas on offer, but realistically, Scott, you've had those so many times, so why not switch it up just a little bit? Agreed, that's the whole point. I'm not going for Domino's, so trying to switch it up, so what else do they have? Well, there is this other row of pizzas here, and this has caught my eye, actually. A meat feast or a barbecue chicken, and then look at this one, the chorizo pizza. So, which one do you want, Scotty? How about you just get me both so I can sort of nibble on them? Uh, so get me the barbecue chicken and then that chorizo one. Pretty good choice, I think. So we will go for a barbecue chicken and then the smaller chorizo pizza from España. Okay, so there we go, two pizzas, so watch your head. Whoa, my God, be careful. <laughs> Told you I was changing the game with this one. We do things differently on this channel. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> oh God. So yes, we have the barbecue chicken and then the chorizo one. I don't know whether I'll finish both, but I'll definitely sort of mix and match. Thought the variety would be nice. And again, it was far cheaper. So you know the next thing to do? is to cook them up and then karate. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. There we go. Two pizzas, one bad. Thank you, ma'am. And this can only mean one thing. We're going for our first time lapse of the day because I'm trying to balance everything. We have our clients here because I am a business man, not a businessman. So here we go. We have our barbecue chicken. Y después del barbecue chicken, tenemos el chorizo pizza. Aquí. <laughs> Here we go, I'm gonna check in with you at the end again. I don't know whether I'll finish both, but... Así que, time lapso! Vamos en 3, 2, 1! Okay, family. Here we go. Uh, feeling a little bit full again. I don't want to push myself because I do sort of want to pace myself get the large variety of foods in but we went for half of the barbecue chicken to be honest that was the worst one out of the two it was still pretty good and then the chorizo one was insane so we have finished all of the chorizo one and then i'll probably give like the rest of that to the parents but anyway here we go mm. ah. Finito. <laughs> but yeah macros are gonna be up there in the left hand corner and i will check back in with you later on Okay, so here we go. We are in Sally Noggin, and no, we're definitely not going for Domino's, but we banged out a few jobs. We went to the post office, then we actually met up with a potential client down in the fly fit in Sally Noggin. But I thought I would stop off at Spar for my first little sweet treat of the day. OGs can remember, big time OGs will remember. They used to have much better variety of donuts. They had like this Maltese or salted caramel one, but they don't have them, and these don't look great to be honest. <sighs> Man, that's so annoying, but we will probably stop off somewhere else and you will find out through a sick transition through the forehead. Ooh, boom, to Super Value in Kalini. And if they don't have them here, I do have one more backup, so pray. Okay, so here we go. It's pretty poor, to be honest. They have Portuguese tarts. I would have these. They look pretty good. The muffins look good as well, but realistically, it's not what I really want, so... Final backup, Londis, the good old reliable. Will they have the Cronut or the Oreo donut or just any donut for that matter, please? Oh baby, we've hit the jackpot. So they have Boston creams with nuts on top, but they have cream in them. You know I don't like cream and these look good, but they are also pumped with cream. So you already know the Oreo and the Cronut are by far up there, probably the top two on my donut list. So, I mean, I guess I gotta have them. I'm sorry for being boring. Hopefully you see, I did actually try to switch it up, but anyway, we're just gonna smash these down. You know I like these. Oreo one, expect some creamage. Mm. Oh baby, you got some cream in there. Beautiful. <laughs> mm. Mm. White and dark cream. Perfetto. <laughs> mm. That's bite. Mm. We did actually bring another shaker. Oh my god, I'm starting to sweat profusely, but here we go. The cronut. Mm. 
Oh, look how many layers are in that. It's so warm in here. It's starting to melt again. Perfetto. <laughs> mm. Man, that is so good, guys. You need to try a cronut. But here we go, last bite. Mm. <sighs> Beautiful. So, again, macros will be up there in the left hand corner. Again, that was just a little bit of a snack, a sweet stop for the day. And we're definitely moving on to another Whopper meal now. It's starting to get a little bit hungry. So, here we go. Let's take advantage of this hunger and try bang out another Whopper meal. Again, I might get like three more meals in after this, if I'm lucky. So you can see, we have a nice juicy tub of Nutella. <laughs> and then if I roll up my sleeve, I think we can... Oh, God damn it. There we go. One monster baguette. Oh, just about reach a baguette. I told you, we do things differently on this channel, but you know what? I'm not really feeling Nutella, and I do want to switch it up a bit, so it's God! My love, every what the fuck? What do you want now, Scott? I've just left little. I got you your pizzas. Jesus. Okay, calm down. No need to be grumpy, but it is the next meal, and I have a baguette, and I have Nutella, but I'm not really feeling Nutella, and I want to switch it up, so could you stop off at Tesco on the way home from little? Okay, so here we go. We're at Tesco's, the local one, so what do you want? That's a stupid question of course what else would go in the baguette other than white chocolate spread okay so here we go the spread aisle so they have honey they have jam they have the tesco's chocolate spread they have peanut butter nutella marmite but i don't think they have any of the white chocolate in stock so you're just gonna have to put up with nutella for once okay no this is my cheat day go somewhere else and find me some white chocolate spread what Come on, Scott, I'm still soaked in sweat. I need to get home, have a shower. I don't care, okay? I'm not gonna let you ruin my day. So go to Tesco's or don't come home at all. Okay, so here we go. If they don't have white chocolate spread, I am gonna snap. <laughs> okay, so here we go, the spread aisle. We have peanut butter, Reese's, we have honey jam. Oh my God, oh, thank God. There we go, your beloved white chocolate spread. And I'm not gonna throw it, it's made of glass, but here we go. <sighs> thank you, my man. Changing the game. <laughs> okay, so here we go. One monster baguette and we're weighing it 424, but it's still <laughs> touching the edges. So I don't know, let's round that up to like 450 or something. Then we have our white chocolate spread for which there's 400 grams in a tub and we're gonna use, boom, roughly half of it. So 196 grams, all pumped. Oh my days, that looks unbelievable. So you know the deal, guys. Me and my babe. Have some alone time. <laughs> oh, the contrast. Hello. <laughs> we have a fresh shaker. Bulk powders link will be in the... No. We have our phone. We have our iPad. So time lapse coming in three, two, one. It's literally like the best. 99 cent you'll ever spend or maybe it's just me and my obsession with white chocolate But yeah, definitely full after that down to the last bite of the baguette mm. Finito. <laughs> So as per usual macros will be up there in the left hand corner again I'm pretty much gonna shoot for maybe like a snack and then like another Whopper and a macro capper, but God knows what'll happen. I might go for a stroll, but nonetheless, I'll check in with you later on. Okay, family, what is up? We are back in the hermit room. <laughs> Stuart Cordova, shout out to you, currently working on your diet portion now. And this is my desk here. This is my little booklet actually from my new split. I am actually tracking everything in a little booklet. Then we have our coffee, there are cookie dough beanies, some flavor drops. But yeah, feeling pretty good to be honest. It's currently about six o'clock. And like I said, I'll probably go for a snack now and then a bigger dinner and then a macro capper. So yeah, we're gonna have a definitely a high calorie day. So snack time, what are we gonna go for a snack? God! Oh, God. What is it now, Scott? I've just got you your white chocolate spread. Yes, thank you. It was absolutely fantastic, as always. But we are moving through the day, and I think it's time for a little bit of a snack. So while you're in Tesco's, can you please pick me up something? You know what? You've treated me like shit all day. So you know what? Here we go. Here's a packet of Haribo for you. Jesus! No! I don't want Haribo. Go back and get me something better than this shit. 
Oh, Jesus, okay, 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 I get the point. What do you want? Thank you, and please treat me with a bit of respect, okay? So pick me up some of those Belgian white chocolate deluxe cookies for me. Okay, so here we go. We have the Belgian white chocolate, we have sticky toffee cookies, but there is this any two for four euro. Whoa, two for four euro? Bro, are they all included? Well, apparently you can mix and match any of the Galaxy, the Dairy Milk, the M&M ones, of course, the Belgian white chocolate, the sticky toffee cookies, any of these granola ones. So yeah, let me know, Scotty. Okay, geez, that's a good deal. Definitely go for a white chocolate one and then maybe go for the sticky toffee pudding ones as well. Okie dokie, one of each coming your way. And I do apologize for being grumpy, but anyway, here we go, two packets of cookies. Ah, thank you very much. Changing the game. <laughs> so yes, here we go, we have two packets. I couldn't resist the offer. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat all eight, but I'll have like one or two of each while I get started on this and then see how it goes. These are absolutely insane. We know the white chocolate ones are the bomb, but I am definitely interested in trying out the sticky toffee ones. So I'll probably go for one of the, oh baby, look at it bending. Oh my God, I don't think the, oh. <laughs> Here we go, first ever taste test of the toffee one. It's all right, it's very good, but I'm comparing it to the white chocolate one, so yeah, it's not as good as the white chocolate one. White chocolate one's definitely better, but still, very, very good. Now let's give you a taste test of the white chocolate one, and then get cracking into this program. Oh baby, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's good. How do they make them so good, guys? Seriously, if you're in the UK or whatever, try these out, but yeah. Here we go, we got our two packets. Headphones on, and I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be a bit of a loner, so. Here we go, numero due. I'm gonna stop at two of the sticky toffee pudding ones. Maybe even save them for later. Oh my God, just look at those chunks glistening under the light. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, last bite of the white chocolate one. Again, we went for two of those, very, very good. <laughs> So, <laughs> Marcos will be up there in the left hand corner. Definitely gonna go for a stroll. Didn't manage to get for a stroll. Might even go down to Little or whatever. I finish with dinner and then the macro capper. So, yeah. Okay, so we are out for a stroll and actually let's just appreciate the sheer rhabdo that is gonna happen in my legs. I'm gonna put an overview of my steps right up there in that corner. Pause it. Do you wanna know how I do that? Go buy my program. <laughs> But anyway, yes, we are clocking up the steps, working up an appetite, uh, editing this video. Whoa, what the? Boom! <laughs> Again, I am having so much fun with this video. Hopefully it comes across on camera and I'm entertaining you. Yes, but dinner time. Now, I do have a plan and that plan has sort of changed, but nonetheless, I still think we need to make a call. So here we go. Jesus Christ. What is it now, Scott? I already got you your pizzas. I know, cheers, and I was actually gonna call Tesco Scott, but he's getting super, super grumpy, so definitely wasn't gonna disturb him, so I knew I could rely on you. Yeah, he is definitely a bit grumpy today, so yeah, what do you want? Well, I did actually have a plan, but that plan has changed, but still, it requires some pancakes. Okay, so here we go, the staple buttermilk pancakes. How many do you want? Definitely one. I'm not going for two packs, okay? <laughs> Screw that, Scotty. It's a cheat day, so here we go. We're going for two, 16. Buttermilk pancakes, watch your head. Jesus! I knew that was coming this time. <laughs> okay, so here's the plan of action. It was originally supposed to be two packets, so 16 total pancakes with some Nutella. But seeing as I do have some of the leftover pizza, the parents didn't want it, I thought I would mix and match sweet and savory. Again, that combo went super well on the Rocks cheat day. So what we're gonna do is have one packet of the pancakes with this, heat them up, and then we're just gonna scoop. There is still a little bit of Nutella left in there. I don't know if you can see it. So we're gonna weigh the tub now, and then I'll just bring it inside and then see how much we use so 537 uh, gram tub gonna heat these up and then check back in with your inside and so another cheat day is starting to come 
to a close, but again, I've had a lot of fun today, so we have a fresh knife to spread it over the pancakes. <laughs> Another shaker of liquido, and that is that. We have everything ready to go, so here we go. Final time lapse of the day, coming in three, due, uno. The pizza, oh my god, the pizza hit the spot. Like, it's so weird how something can taste like 10 times better after you've had. I think it just had so much sweet stuff throughout the day. It is that like palate fatigue, you know, that actual food competitors do, you know, they go sweet, savory. But yeah, the combo was super, super good. Again, we just sort of gave a nice little coating, turned them into sandwich. So we're on to the last bite. Finito. <laughs> I have not touched the Nutella jar so we're gonna scrape off the knife bring it inside and see how much we used and here we go fam so we are gonna scrape off that tiny little bit like so pop that down there and now what was it 537 and now it's 485 so that equals a whopping 52 grams of Nutella and yes I did actually use a calculator for that so yeah that is that again overall macros for that meal will be up there in the left hand corner yeah get out the way <laughs> but yeah I am planning one more macro cap where you might be able to guess what it is but it does have a little bit of a spin on it so yeah we do have a long time then so hopefully my appetite will pick back up and I will check back in with you later on yeah family 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 <laughs> I'm sitting here I think it's just a massive come down at the moment. Just looking back at all the clips, it's been a super long, a good day, but a super long day. What, we got up at like 20 to six and now pretty much coming up to like quarter to two, but nonetheless, had a good day. So this is how we finished off the day. You know, I couldn't miss up the opportunity to have cereal. So we went for a higher calorie cereal I wouldn't have usually. So the nougat pillows or the milk chocolate pillows from Little they're killer definitely better than the chocolate ones and then just halo top you know i love halo top so i'm gonna have it and then we had two of the white chocolate the leftover white chocolate ones mum said she'll have the sticky toffee ones wasn't too much of a fan they were very good but compared to the white chocolate ones um they had nothing on them but yeah that is that again if you like all of the effort and uh, all of the shit that i did with the transitions then please show your support but yeah i'll check back in with you tomorrow boom 20 minutes fish bash bosh i feel bloody fantastic for some reason might sort of have something to do with like 10,000 calories and that brings me on nicely to your least favorite part of the video the end so in terms of the macros we had 258 grams of protein 1485 grams of carbs 376 fat coming at just under ten and a half thousand calories and again it's a lot but i have prepped for it okay so it's all been compensated and actually even energy expenditure wise i'll put it on the screen we hit a record i think 5800 calories just about burn and actually that brings me on to the way and we were up like one 1.6 kilos if I remember correctly but again that's all being compensated for so that is the end of the video again if you like this video please let me know down below full back with a bang OG cheat day hope you all have a good day see you all in the next video Boop.